three members sitting up here to be the new elected officials for your board. I would like to be one of them. As I said before, I enjoy what I do. I try to be even-tempered. I try to let things roll off my back, and I try to administrate and do whatever I can to make this run properly. I think this is a great community. I know it's a great community. We all want to live here. I don't know of anybody with all the complaints that I ever hear does not like to live here. Everybody likes to live here. That's what it is. So how the board works, it's personalities. We have to work that out. We have to try to do the best we can. I try the best I can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But when I have a situation, as Jack said tonight, he went today to, the, to Steve Israel's office. That's against the board. That's against his committee chair. He's not supposed to do that. Yes, you did, Jack. You said you, today you spoke to Steve Israel's office. That's exactly what you said. To the offering plan regarding the SDP does state that it has to go to the municipality. But our lawyer determined that it didn't. And that's why we fought it, and that's why we're going to win 250000 for the year, even if we don't win the full claim. If we win the full claim, you're going to stay exactly where you are and paying the same water for your saving that save a quarter of a million a year. And Jack tries to act as an attorney again. I told him he's not an attorney. We do not know, and that's what the problem is, if Kaplan actually ordered 20-minute doors. That's a problem we have, and that's part of the reason we don't go and sue right away. That's why we're trying to fight all the answers. We had an architect came in. We have a great representative who's a door manufacturer in our organ, lives in our community, went around. He read everything. He gave great information. Thank you, but he gave great information to the community and to us. So thank you. Please vote for me. I'd like to serve again. Thank you, Herb. Uh, Steve is next. Again, it's great to be on the board to try and improve and help the community as well as our lives. And uh, I would love to serve again and to be, make it a better community. Again, to have a functional board where everyone communicates with each other is just a wonderful thing. Okay? Thank you. Okay, next is uh, Rob, Bob Bresch. <laughs> Serving on the board is a public service, and I'm willing to commit myself to that public service. I want to comment about something that was said before. I did appear before the legislators out east. I was asked the question by Steve Stern, would I recommend we take over the sewage treatment plant if the $425,000 reserve did not come with it? And I told our legislators, I would not recommend taking over the board without the reserve, which is necessary to complete the maintenance that the current operator, the sponsor, has postponed to the next budget year to save a couple of dollars. Um, again, I, I would appreciate your votes. Uh, I will talk to you. I've been talking to people. Uh, at happy hour, which is a happy occasion. And I've gotten a lot of feedback from people, just like I did with the sewage treatment plan. I did it at the happy hour. And uh, I will continue to do that. I'm very interested in your concerns, uh, and I would do whatever I can to mitigate your concerns so that we're all living in a wonderful community. We all have smiles on our faces and enjoy our, our, our 55 plus years. Thank you, Bob. Frank? At the Greens, we are a large and complex community made up of different individuals and personalities. That being said, we have varied thoughts and needs. The rules and conditions created by the HOA board should be for the benefit of the, all the residents and should not be created in a vacuum without input from the entire community. It is my belief that board transparency is extremely important and I would do everything to encourage this concept. Since I am not a snowbird, I am accessible year round, therefore for your convenience, I will always be available to hear your suggestions and concerns. 
Residents in each condo section should be heard and treated equally in order for this community to be represented fairly. As you can see, my goal is to be a facilitator for the community and to work amicably and efficiently with other board directors so that we can potentially create solutions for the majority. Again, thank you for your time, and I would appreciate your support. <laughs> Let's have a hand for our moderator. <laughs> thank you, Frank. Jack. I didn't prepare a summary. I'll let my record stand as it is. I put my heart and soul into this. I worked night and day for the last seven years, eight years, and I will continue to do that if you vote me in. You need someone in there who will speak up, who will not always be on their side, but will show the other side of the coin, and uh, I intend to do that. Uh, I want your vote. I'm willing to put in another three years. Uh, eight years has not been easy. Uh, it's been very difficult. I put a lot of time and my own money into this, thousands of dollars, trying to do things. You can laugh, but that's the truth. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. And thank you all for coming, for your interest, for your wonderful questions. Very important. Please follow this up with votes. Follow this up with your neighbors to get them to vote. Let's see if we can get a real nice showing for this election. And tonight's uh, appearance will be on YouTube. And remember, the election is June 1. You will be receiving notices about the election, the annual meeting, as well as proxies.